Sweden is a map that I feel has a lot of endless possibilities, not only for tactics, but for what Gaijin can do in the game. There's nothing to say that the points have to be static. Say team one caps the A point. Well, then the A point can disappear and move a little bit closer towards team two, giving them an opportunity to recruit some points. And, you know, I mean, that could be done with any of the points. So, maybe, I don't know. On this map though, I, I think this is the first time that we've done this map. First time that I remember it. But there are so many different routes, locations, different ways you can do things. And honestly, there's no right answer for this map. You can go heavy A and B and you're fine. You can go heavy C and B and you're fine. You can leave one of the points out. You can go, honestly, I wouldn't go AC, but you know, you could. But you know, Team 2 has got a heavy push for the B point and the C point, kind of. The A point they capped, but that's just because Team 1 wasn't really interested in it. They were going for the outflank around it. Now, Team 2 is being held off by a medium tank that is really just harassing him. Now, there is the medium tank to the north from Team 1, but he's not really engaging that mass on the B point just yet. Now over to the C point, this was just crazy, okay? So team one just keeps taking out team two's tanks, keeps taking them out, taking them out. Now unfortunately, at this BR, we all know what happens. People die once and they leave. They die twice and they leave. There's little incentive in the game especially at the higher BRs, for people to stay. It's like they die and they're just like, oh, I'm done, I'm out, I'm gonna go play another match or whatever, which doesn't help you any. You're not learning. You know, you play once and die and then leave and go to another match, you're not learning. So I think we need to come up with an incentive, or Gaijin needs to come up with an incentive to keep people into the game. Because if they don't, then we're just gonna keep ending up with matches like this. But back to the map. So team one does take the C, sorry, the B point and the A point, and there's a pretty good engagement over by the A point. That light tank from team two is gonna die here soon. But the B point is being fought over by, you know, a bunch of the guys that are fighting in the park. They end up dying from team two. Team two is still trying to push over to that C point, but team one has got all those angles covered. They swarm them and take them out. At this stage right here, I would say the map is over and we should just end it. But we're just gonna let it play out and just see what kind of resolve that the rest of these tanks have. So while we're watching this destruction of the remainder of the enemy team which consists of three spaas an su-25 if i'm not mistaken which is flying across the screen and a helicopter i think there's a ka up but there was actually no attack drones that i can remember but what what is your route that you go to on this map like what are your tactics? i know when i play with codip we go to the C point. We go to that outflank. We try to get them as they're coming down the roads and do a bunch of shenanigans over there. When I play solo, I go towards the A point. I rarely go straight for the B point just because there's so many different lanes of fire. If I do end up going for the B point, I do in, it's not really an outflank, but it's a maneuver around in some way. So like if I've spawned north where team one is, I'll go through the middle section on that 5-6 line, trying to find spots through there. And with the sounds the way they are, it is really hard and easy to tell where things are. Sometimes you can hear a friendly tank far away and it sounds like an enemy's closer. So it's really, it's really a challenging map and it's a lot of fun to play. Now, if you're a speedy tank, it can be a lot of fun unless you're a speedy tank that doesn't have a lot of pen. The Radconf Wagon 90 is a great one to do on this one. The new um, Italian uh, Fresca, whatever that is, with the auto launching bombs is pretty good. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video and we'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget, like, comment, subscribe.